I'm Chef Jasper, and today we're in the kitchen making fresh pasta. Forbici. What is forbici? Forbici. That's the scissors. Come on. This is the way my nanny used to make pasta. And my mama, when you wanted something quick, they would make pasta dough. Oh, that's quick back in the old days. Just wait till you see how we do this. I love this dish. I love it. Eating it. Come on. And it's like dumplings. I'll show you. But first, we need to make a quick pasta. Now, I'm using the bowl method. Yes, I can use the, uh, the board and the old-fashioned way, of course, or the modern way you see on TV. It looks nice. Let's just get going with this. Come on. Our flour. Now, watch this with the egg yolks, okay? A little bit of salt, too. But watch how much egg yolks I put in there. I'm only going to put in about this much egg yolk. That's about it right now. And then just a touch of olive oil. I'm not using all of this at once, okay? And now we'll start mixing. Look at this, golden. I'm not using the egg whites, you heard me say that. Egg yolks. This is gonna be a nice golden color. Now, if I added milk, because sometimes in dumplings and, you know, Russian recipes or European recipes, um, they, uh, they use a little bit of milk in there. It'll just make it a little bit tougher. So this is like a tagliale, which is a, um, not a tagliate, uh, but uh, just a little bit uh, thinner dough. Okay, now I can start judging how many more egg yolks to add. And I may, you know, may end up using uh, eight or nine egg yolks here. And then a little bit of water if needed. But look at this now, it's all coming together. So be careful with the egg yolks because we opened up about, I don't know, maybe a dozen eggs. And I'm not kidding you, five of them were not the same size. So that's going to happen to you. Don't worry about it. You didn't make a mistake. You just add a little bit more. But I also, once I get this mixed where I think it's enough, I have a little bit of the pasta water. And now I'll kind of bring everything together one more time. So two minutes to make your pasta. That's all we need. And then we'll, uh, we'll put this into the refrigerator. You can do it overnight. It really doesn't matter. Just let it warm before we start actually uh, cutting the pasta with the scissors. And then we have a great sauce. Oh, you're going to love the sauce. It's quick and it's easy. One last time here now, mix everything in there all together. And we don't really want to knead the dough a lot, like, you know, 10 minutes, like a pastry or anything like that. We just want to get everything really thoroughly mixed. And I like using a bowl. I don't know. I, it's not being lazy or anything, but uh, I think it's a little easier, a little quicker, especially if you're just making, you know, a couple pounds or one pound. I feel the dough right now. I like that consistency right here. Just look at this right here and look at the nice golden color like I said. A little bit more water is all we need to finish this up. And that will be it. That's it. Now we'll wrap this in cellophane. We'll put it in the fridge like I said and I don't know start a sauce because the water is boiling and I'm about ready to actually start using the scissors and preparing mama's and nana's famous pasta. Easy and delicious. Look at this. Fold it over one more time. I mean seriously. A couple minutes, that's it. We don't want to waste anything here. Put this all in the refrigerator now. And now it's time to prepare our sauce. You're gonna absolutely love it, so quick and easy. But you know what? I like a lot of garlic in this one. So let's chop our garlic up. And you can't make enough sauce, believe me. You can't make too much sauce. You can have a prepared tomato sauce ahead of time and add it, so it's up to you. But I like a little bit of garlic in this, so I think that's enough right there. Let's chop it, rough cut. We wanna bite into the garlic. I'm not a big garlic eater too, you know that. You've seen, you know, we talked about that before, but I think this is gonna be just perfect right here. Okay, so never smash that garlic and never burn the garlic. All right, here we go. A little bit of olive oil. 
That's going to heat very, very quickly. And of course, we're going to add our garlic. And this will cook within a minute. So be very careful. Burnt garlic, bitter sauce. That's why people put you know, a little more sugar in their sauce because their sauce is bitter. It's not only the tomatoes, because you burned the garlic. Oh, the smell in the kitchen right now. And again, this goes very quickly. One other thing I like to do, I like to add my red pepper in the frying pan. So red pepper flakes brings out more of the flavor. Now, never the herbs, but the spices were okay. So this is it, less than a minute, finish the pan with a little bit of vodka. How about that? Our tomato sauce. The heavy cream. And of course, give this a good stir. Our grated cheese, Romano or Parmigiano. It doesn't really matter with this one. I tend to use a lot more Romano in my uh, kitchen. Bring this all together and you have a quick and easy, delicious vodka sauce. A little more vodka is not gonna hurt you. A little more red pepper is not gonna hurt you. Set this aside and now it's time to start cooking our pasta. Oh, I cannot wait. All right, now we're gonna cut the forbici, the pasta. Oh, look at this. Just absolutely perfect. I'm gonna brag about this right now. So I'm kind of thinning this out a little bit. Almost like a, um, a pizza dough or, you know, or a pie crust or something. Let's cut this in half because we're gonna hold on to it. Of course, I have my strainer. I have some fresh basil. We're gonna just let that sit in our sauce. Oh, you can't put enough fresh basil in a sauce. Let that kind of get a little aroma in there, okay? Here's the pasta. How thick do you want this? How thin do you want it? I'm going even a little flatter. My water is boiling, and this is it. This is the way Nani used to always do it. And I'd sit on the counter and just watch her, and oh my God, I love this. This is it, here we go. I get excited about this. Okay, just cut the pasta right into the boiling water. The little thinner pieces are even better because remember, the, uh, it has a little egg in it so it's gonna get a little harder when it uh, boils. And I'm telling you, the kids are gonna love this. They're gonna love watching it. You can get everybody involved in the family making this. Someone could do the sauce, someone could make the pasta. A little adult supervision over the, uh, the boiling water. Just like Nana used to do it. Now I have my pasta boiling. This shouldn't take, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe two minutes, three minutes at the most. Cooks very quickly. So much history behind these dishes. And in the olden days, you know, instead of, um, instead of you know, rolling out all the dough, this is just a quick way. I always used to think it was a lazy man's way of making pasta, but you know, when you see Nana in the kitchen and she wanted something quick and I don't know, how just dough would appear in her house when I was younger, I don't get that either, but it did and she would make it, maybe she had it overnight, I don't know, and just grab it, maybe even a little bit of butter, a little bit of cream sauce, it didn't matter. Any sauce is really delicious, I just chose this sauce. Look at that, it's done. That didn't take a couple of minutes, maybe, maybe five or six minutes, of course, to, uh, to make our uh, pasta dough itself. Oh, I can't wait to taste this, to bring back the memories. That's it. Give this a good stir. I already have some salt in the water, so look at this. And next, we're going to add this to our sauce. Just let it cook for another Another minute or so is all we need. A lot of people put oil in the pasta water to keep the pasta from sticking. But then again, here's what happens. The sauce does not adhere to the pasta. And we, we want that to happen with this one. We kind of want to soak that pasta in the sauce. This is it. Let's take this off the stove. Just a second here. 
put our sauce back on the stove, get our pasta here. Oh, I know this is ready. I could just take a look at this, okay? Put our pasta and a little bit of water. That's okay if you put a little water in this. It's not going to hurt it. And we don't want to miss out on any of this. At this point, give this a good stir. Oh, it's rich. It's creamy. It's delicious. Just look at that. Maybe a little more red pepper. Maybe a little bit of cheese. This is something else. You're going to love this. I'm going to plate this up now. Uh, we're just going to put just a little bit of basil to finish this up. The forbici, just like Mama and Nana used to make. I'm so proud of this dish. It's one recipe that I love serving my family. And I'm telling you right now, it's so easy. You're going to enjoy serving it too. As my papa used to always say, Bene mangiare bene. It means eat and drink well. Brought to you by Hen House Markets.